Beach, two city council candidates have gone head to head in a runoff election today, and results show that Billy Grooms claimed the seat for Folly Beach City Council. News 2 Sophia Radebaugh spoke with both candidates about these results. Well, it's been a tight race from the start. We're told that Ann Peets and Billy Grooms were separated by just 10 votes in the general election two weeks ago. 740 voters went to the Folly Beach polling location to cast their ballot Tuesday, a high number for the island in a runoff election. People are coming out of the voting booth like smiling at one of us or the other of us, and so I think it's a neck and neck election. And the response to the polls has been great, and I think it's going to go in my favor. In the general election, Grooms brought in 14% of the vote and Pete's brought in 13%. Grooms has served on council for four years and was looking for another term. He says he wants to focus more on safety on the island. But safety is a, is a huge, huge thing that I've been working on uh, as a current councilman, you know, trying to bring in some uh, speed limit signs. So. Pete's has lived on Folly Beach for eight years and says she based her campaign platform on results of a survey she conducted with residents. So the first part is enhancing livability, all around flooding, addressing septic issues, environmental, um, a lot of the issues that uh, residents feel like have kind of gone by the wayside a little bit. And results show that Grooms did get voted in for another term. We caught up with him after he learned he had won, saying he's thrilled to be able to serve the residents on Folly for longer. I think the voters have, have shown their trust in me and, uh, and really the entire council and the mayor as well as we move forward. I think we'll, we'll make good decisions for the island. On Folly Beach, Sophia Radebaugh, Count on Two.